What is up, YouTube? I am the one and only Shadow7201. You are currently tuned into the Brony Guide, and I want to thank you guys for tuning in. Now, this episode is actually going to be about, well, the history of My Little Pony. And no, I don't mean the history of Equestria, or Discord, or Celestia and Luna, or the Crystal Empire, or anything like that. I mean the actual history of My Little Pony. From its creation to today. Should be interesting. <clears throat> now, let's get on with the show. Shall we? Okay, now, before we get started with all four generations, we need to go back to the beginning. Commencing time travel sequence in three, two, one. My Little Pony was created in 1982 by American illustrator and designer Bonnie Zaccarelli. Zaccarelli submitted a design patent in August 1981 for an ornamental design for a toy animal. The patent was granted in August 1983 when she began working for Hasbro. So guys, it's because of Bonnie Zaccarelli that we have to thank for inspiring Lauren Faust to create My Little Pony Friendship is Magic. Okay. So now that we know how My Little Pony got started, let's take a look at Generation 1, shall we? As part of Hasbro's media strategy, My Little Pony, along with other properties like Transformers and G.I. Joe, was adapted into animated features. My Little Pony later retailed Rescue at the Midnight Castle, the first 22-minute syndicated primetime special premiered in 1984. It was followed by My Little Pony Escape from Katrina and My Little Pony the Movie, the first and only theatrical film released in 1986 Directed by Michael Jones, it featured the voices of Rhea Perlman, Mandeline Can, Tony Randall, and Danny DeVito. It had a mediocre box office earning grossing almost $6 million in the U.S. and received mostly negative reviews from critics. Along with these, My Little Pony and Friends, a half-hour syndicated television series that featured various characters from Hasbro's properties, by having My Little Pony in its first segment. The TV specials, the film, and the TV series were all set in the same milieu, Dream Valley, a land inhabited by witches, goblins, and other magical creatures with whom the ponies, their human friend Megan, and their dragon friend Spike interacted. Holy shit, I, d I had no idea that Spike was in this. Okay, so... Generation 1, not too bad. Animation could have used, well, compared to today, it sucked. But, you guys gotta remember, it was Generation 1 that inspired Lauren to create Friendship is Magic. So, we can't really say anything bad about it. Well, we can't say anything all that bad. I will admit, I have watched a few episodes, including Rescue at the Midnight Castle. And the villains were pretty solid. Um, so, with that said, let's move on to Generation 2. My Little Pony Generation 2, or better known as My Little Pony Tales, is an American-Canadian animated television series produced by Sunbow Productions and Grey's Entertainment, animation produced by ACMO, and based on the My Little Pony toys by Hasbro. 
It ran weekly from July 3rd, 1992 to December 25th, 1992 for 26 episodes. And it's been released on DVD in Australia and Europe. And is the only My Little Pony in the TV series not produced by Marvel Productions and animation produced by Toy Animation. The series follows seven young female ponies who live in the Ponyland, a society of anthropomorphic ponies. The girl ponies, Starlight, Sweetheart, Melody, Bright Eye, Patch, Clover, and Bon Bon, is a contrast from the previous series which involves ponies and humans. They live like humans as they attend school, frequent the local ice cream shop, enter talent contests, and even roller skate. Some of the girl some of the girl ponies begin to show romantic interest in the male ponies, Ted, Ace, er, Teddy, Acey, and Lancer. They even go on dates with them. Each episode features an original song. The My Little Pony Tales episodes first aired on Disney Channel as part of My Little Pony TV series that ran in the 1990s. In the half hour block, the first part feature, featured an episode from My Little Pony and Friends, and the second part was an episode from My Little Pony Tales. Okay, so Generation 2, not exactly the cream of the crop. Too much time spent playing to the girly stuff. Not enough time spent developing characters or developing stories. And oh yeah, <laughs> I forgot. As, well, as Brony Curious once said, Generation 2 is basically the anti friendship is magic. Why? Well, because it's our world. Yes, that's right. Generation 2, My Little Pony Tales is basically just anthropomorphi anthropomorphized ponies in our world. Makes me gag just a little bit. So, with Generation 2 out of the way, let's move on to Generation 3, shall we? I'm sorry, but I am not showing them Generation 3, okay? What do you mean you're not going to show them Generation 3? I mean, I refuse to show our viewers the lowest form of entertainment which would cause them to gouge their eyes no. out. Wow, I'm, I'm kind of shocked, honestly. <laughs> you do realize that it is a show meant for little girls and can't possibly be that bad? I don't care. I'm still not showing it to them, okay? You're not, okay, so you're still not going to show it. Well, what do you want to do? Why don't you talk to them about Generation 3 whilst I fetch myself Fine, a drink? Fine, this video moving any faster then. Just let me get set up at my next location, and I will talk about Generation 3 then. Okay? Okay. Okay, so as you guys have probably figured out, my voiceover doesn't want to talk about Generation 3. So, that leaves me to talk about it. And I really don't want to. I mean, come on, it's Generation 3. Who likes Generation 3? But, Anyways, it's my own fault for doing a history of My Little Pony, so here we go. Generation 3. Between 2003 and 2009, 
the ponies appeared in a series of direct to VHS slash DVD shorts and feature and feature length films. Most of them were produced by SD Entertainment. We got a lot of early releases here. I'm not going to go through them all. Uh, uh, yada yada. Okay. Generation 3.5. My Little Pony Twinkle Wish Adventures released in October 13th, 2009. Released by Shout Factory and Hasbro. This DVD includes a feature length movie and a sing-along and other bonus material. Upon a My Little Pony Time is a series of two 10 minute animated, animated shorts Produced in Ada Flash, that's why they're so bad. It features the core seven characters as newborn cuties. Kill me for just reading that. Okay, so, oh. There's also My Little Pony Live, the world's biggest tea party in 2006, which was well, it was a, it was the stage adaptation, and it sucked. The reportable games, uh, My Little Pony Crystal Princess, The Runaway Rainbow. That was released in 2006. And blah 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 blah. My Little Pony Pinkie Pie's Tea Party. Or Pinkie Pie's Party. Another game released. Okay. So, now that that somewhat torturous event is over. Let's move on to Generation 4, shall we? And you had better do Generation 4. You got me? Good. Let's move on. Alright guys, Generation 4. <laughs> Home stretch. Here we go. My Little Pony, Friendship is Magic, is an animated television series produced by Hasbro Studios and DHX Media, Vancouver, formerly Studio B. It was premiered on October 10th, 2010 on The Hub, an American television channel partially owned by Hasbro. This incarnation was created by Lauren Faust, who was a fan of the property in her youth, but eventually grew dissatisfied with his poor writing that she felt pandered to sexist stereotypes. Thus, Faust, ende Faust endeavored to design her own version of the property to address those concerns and create a series acclaimed for its sophisticated writing and nuanced characters. As a result of these qualities, Friendship is Magic has not only proven a major success in its intended demographics, but also unexpectedly gained significant following in the peripheral ones, such as teens and adult males. The show has also attracted media coverage for its fan base, which was spawned, which has spawned numerous adult-themed parodies, mashups, and images, mostly outside of its main target audience, especially seen on YouTube and DeviantArt. Which by the way, is the artwork which you currently see flashing right before your eyes, ladies and gentlemen. Currently, there is a game, as well as a comic book, of the same name based on My Little Pony Friendship is Magic. The mobile game was developed by Gameloft for iOS and Android devices and was released on November 8, 2012. 
My Little Pony: Friendship Is Magic, the comic series, again, is based on the is based on the television show of the same name. The first issue was published November of in November of 2012 by IDW Publishing under license from Hasbro, who own the My Little Pony franchise and has proven a highly successful venture with a large circulation with a larger circulation than most competing titles. The series is written by Katie Cook and illustrated by Andy Price. So, until next time, this is Shadow7201, signing out.